What's up everybody? This is Dave here from DroidInsider.com to do a review of this Paranoid uh, Android Original ROM. Uh, this is version 3.6. Uh, a lot of uh, features on here. I, I, I don't see how I'm going to get to them all, but I'm going to get to as many as I can on here. Um, of course, you got your unlock screen, which you can just pull this anywhere to unlock. Before we get to that, you can drag the, uh, the screen to its sides. One is going to be camera automatically, and as you can see, it just pretty much pops up all by itself there. Even gets me in after I hit the home key. Um, but you can always go to this plus sign and add in whichever kind of widget you want or, or whatnot from this uh, from the main screen here. So, and it's pretty much going to take you right in here unless you have a password saved. Uh, so you got your desktop here. You got your camera. Uh, your camera. Uh, I don't know what version this is, but style camera, but it does seem to have quite a few options to it. Um, pictures still look really good. Um, there are a couple features missing from it that you might be used to, such as uh, holding the camera button and it doing rapid shots, which uh, I have not found on here. It does do um, panorama. Uh, and the uh, this is 4.2.2, which is Jelly Bean. Um, it kind of has the 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 old uh, ice cream sandwich kind of pull over here. At least that's how I remember. Uh, so, anyways, um, you got your browser, calculator, calendar, all this basic stuff. Uh, some currents here, which just shows. Uh, it, it's I did the popular science one, but it has all these other um, just information you can get. Uh, it keeps updated, which are really cool um, things. You can, if you're really into technology or whatever, you can sign up for it, and, and, uh, and it's a free service. But it has tons of articles on here, so it's really something cool to keep up with. Currents, uh, DSP Earth comes with it. You notice this uh, little half circle here. That's uh, Halo. Um, you're supposed to be able to move it around. However, I have a little bit of issue with the moving it around, but I've seen videos where people just pull it around and they can move it around their screen. Uh, again, I don't know why I have the issue, but I um, seem to not be able to get that. So anyways, uh, you got your gallery. It's different from your normal um, gallery, which you have with the HTC One. It doesn't have the Zoe effect or nothing like that. Uh, let's see, we got Google Plus, Hangouts, Messenger. Take a quick look at the Messenger. Messaging or Messenger. Something kind of cool here. Uh, the way that these words write, as I write it, you can see it kind of just tells me the word I'm, I'm already written in and as I go along. So, nice little uh, uh, twist and a swipe there. Messenger Movie uh, movie Studio, uh, you don't normally see that uh, on these uh, ROMs anymore. Um, you got the phones, take a look at this phone here. Big numbers, big numbers. A little bit different than what you might be used to. Uh, you got all your contacts there from pulling over to Google, of course. Let's see here, we got Navigator, Play Magazines, Play movies, TV, Play Store. Got your settings here. Almost looks like it has a little, little bit of a uh, what's that version called? The uh, honeycomb to it, or something like a tablet honeycomb a little bit, or something. Uh, you got your torch light here. It's got a couple features to this that I'm not used to. It's got a high um, let's say high brightness, which it tells you you got to be careful because it's so bright. Uh, you can actually burn out um, your bulb or something, or you can just the fact that it gets so so hot. So, uh, all right. So, what else we got here? All right, that's a torch. We got the Google Wallet, Voice Search, and YouTube. All those programs seem to work fine. Then you get into all your widgets here. Quite a few widgets. 
Now, what else we got? We got this pull down notification where your notifications pull through. It might be hard to see, but that is a slight transparency to it. Top right corner, you get into the settings where you can get in the brightness, your settings, uh, your, it tells you which Wi Fi you're connected to, that you're on the Sprint service, percentage of battery, turn on airplane mode. It's got the launcher, which this is the uh, size of the layout. Then it's got Pi over here. It's like Pi, you can't pull this down from the bottom anymore. What you can do is, I think it's hold the path. No, that's the home. I know there's an option here. I'm trying to remember what it was. I think it's like hold the power. If you hold the power, you can turn full screen pie mode off in case you really are wanting to get up to these. Uh, but anyways, with the pie mode, you can... Let me see. Yes, you pull it down here from the bottom. If you long press it long enough, you'll see all these options or a little bit of information about your your sprint, your date, your time. Uh, same thing with the Wi-Fi and percent. Uh, you can go to your home screen from here. So if you're not on, uh, you can go to their home screen like that. You just pull it up. Uh, it's got what is it? A camera, I think, a gallery or something. You can do a search. Uh, it's got the Google Now. Something if you guys haven't looked in Google Now, you can get that on all your phones, and that's a pretty cool app. Um, it's got the menu settings you can get from there. You can see uh, Hal in the corner, or Halo. You can on Hal. But uh, you can see your Halo there. It's got the um, wallpapers. Let's see if it's got anything too special here. A little different than what you might be used to. Uh, a couple things, I guess. Maybe not so much, but so this is the uh, the app as it's known. It's got the pie chart. Um, it's got the Halo to it. Um, a couple other cool features. This is one of the original Android ROMs. Uh, definitely something cool. I haven't had any issues too much with it. Been using it for about uh, two two or so days. So something cool to check out, some of these cool features, uh, something to at least look into to get used to, uh, maybe a couple features you might be able to see later on in different ROMs. So let me know what you guys think, uh, what you might like to see on the next ROM. I'm hoping to upgrade my camera soon so that I can get a little bit better views for you guys. As what I'm working with now isn't the, the greatest, but I'm trying to get it a little bit better for you. So... Uh, let me know what you guys think and what you might want to see. Uh, I appreciate all those likes, guys. I'll try to make more videos. And don't forget to subscribe. Uh, let me know. Thanks, guys.